Welcome to Kenosha Community Media. We're broadcasting live and on our Facebook page, and we are here with Jeff Boss from Creative Services. And Jeff, nice to see you today. Uh, Jeff's been involved with the Kenosha Theater and also um, the Kenosha Community Media and the Board of Directors. And Jeff, uh, maybe let's get a little background of uh, how you got involved in video. Uh, you know, I, uh, I ran a recording studio years and years ago, and uh, Back then, if you wanted to get into video, it, uh, you know, a camera was like $50,000 and just the equipment was ridiculous. And now I look back at it, it was so primitive too. But, uh, you know, so the, the jump from audio to video was ridiculously prohibitive. Uh, so I, uh, I got a job at TV 55 and they were just opening up that it was a religious station, Lassie Broadcasting. And then from there, I was doing, uh, we, they finally moved into another uh, facility and from there I got a job at Jones Intercable, that's uh, at the, uh, which is, well, currently the home of Kenosha Community Media and uh, did a lot, a lot of commercial work for uh, Tenuta's at the time. Uh, I just remember having some fun with, and then uh, from there I got a job at, in the corporate world uh, for uh, the Mills Corporation, they're the people who built out Bernie Mills. I was the assistant video director for there for a while and then soon became the video director and uh, wasn't long after that that they started building malls out again. Before you know it, I was helping design television studios and uh, so I learned, I learned a lot about video then and then from then, in 1998, I uh, decided to go on my own and that's when uh, Jeff Boss Creative Services. Well, let's and, hear about Kenosha Theater. Uh, how you're you're involved in that? Let's hear. Oh uh, yeah, I'm still involved in that. You know, that's that, that project has been going on forever. We're looking at different ways to restore it than the old ways. Now, uh, uh, 3D scanning and CNC sculpting. Most of it, you know, most of the stuff inside the theater is still there. It's just, you know, it needs a fa a, a strong facelift. You know. We can share screens here, right? Okay, do you see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that is uh, one of the uh, pictures in the, uh, let me see if I can find this other one. Hold on a second. All right, now you have that screen? Yep. Okay, that is the Detroit Opera House, a picture of it in 1938. And, uh, you know, you look at how the, the uh, proscenium arch is just gorgeous and this whole dome thing over it and then the, I, they call them the baldachines or they're, they're organ grills along either side. That was what the building looked like in 1938. Here, this is what it looked like in uh, 19, uh, I think it's 1980, the dates on this are, excuse me, it's early 90s. Uh, it's in pretty sad shape there. If you look, the, uh, the whole proscenium is gone. And the, all of that gorgeous plaster work is gone. And, uh, you know, they had to reproduce that. And here, that's what it looked like after Ray Shepherdson restored it. So he brought it really, you know, back from uh, the dead. And it wasn't just him, obviously. It was a whole team of people. Right. But he was the lead uh, specialist on that. And that, that, I'm writing a, a, his biography right now. Last or two years ago, I did, uh, here, I'll, I'll share another page. Here real quickly. Two years ago, we did. Uh, I worked with the uh, the Mohican Indians up in uh, up in uh, Bowler, Wisconsin, and we did uh, what's it's called the uh, People of the Waters that are Never Still, and uh, so I, we did the uh, biographies of families and the stories. Because if you remember. In the in Indian or Native American, they actually when we were up there, they don't mind being called Indian. They call themselves Indians. It's not a Native American is fine, but anyways, they the the uh, history of the Indians is that they've always passed it down verbally, and so that's how a lot of the Indian history has uh, has come to be remembered. But as the generations get further and further, the interest from the next generation wanes and wanes. So what we did is we worked with the museum up there and we produced a, a, a book that consisted of uh, 
of a lot of the family histories. Uh, so we, we took, you know, like the particular cities and, uh, and just basically, if you look, you know, these are just pictures of this book. It was a 600 page pictorial book that we did of the history of the Mohican Indians. And uh, that was from, uh, you know, that was from first contact of uh, European settlers to the uh, place where they are now in up north Wisconsin. Because we are living in these tough times with the crisis right now, with these performing arts and X canceled for the next couple of months, do you think they'll rebound from all this? One of the things I do like is, uh, I've always loved live theater. The, the work that they're doing down at uh, the, uh, the Paramount Theater down in Aurora, the, the, the Broadway stuff they're doing there, and, you know, and, and some of the local theaters like up in Racine, they're doing some great work. You know, so I've always liked live theater. What we always say about the, the theaters in general, it's like they are the temp Kenosha uh, Theater advertised it back in 1927 as a temple of amusement, which I think is a great term. And uh, I call it, you know, they're, uh, they're cathedrals of, uh, of imagination. Uh, it's, that's where, you know, people go to, uh, in, to gather to, to witness the imagination of the humans, of, of, of humans. So I think it's a, I'm, I'm, this isolation has made me appreciate uh, the theaters and that kind of thing even more. Oh, just to wrap it up, I know you were, you worked on your like an online show called I Kenosha or something like that. Uh, oh yeah, we're, we've been, uh, was trying to do, create this thing called I, I, I Kenosha. We've actually created it and we've launched it. We've done some shows uh, working with Tim Dolmeyer. That's what we're working on. We're still working on that. Still working on trying to uh, get uh, things going with the theater. I'm working on uh, Ray Shepherdson's biography. That's what I'm working on mostly now, because uh, uh, that guy's story is uh, incredible. Is there a website either for Iconosha or the Kenosha Theater or anything? You want to well, Iconosha is Iconosha.com, uh, you know, and the uh, Kenosha Theater, our Facebook page. Is actually has our, you know Kenosha Theater Facebook page is probably more interesting. It has a lot more uh, detail, a lot more photography, a lot of it's got a, all the pictures from the 1930s and all that. So yeah, the Kenosha Theater web uh, Facebook page is probably the best place to go. All right, well Jeff, you do, you do a great job in the community. Thanks for sharing the stories on the Kenosha Theater and I Kenosha, yeah. and uh, we thank you so much for talking with us today. All right, hey, good talking to you, Jason.